Hi guys, so today we are talking all about redheads and specifically if it's possible to be a cool-toned redhead. And the reason why I want to discuss this is because I see a lot of talk that redheads can only be warm and all of skin tones can only be cool. Um, that's not necessarily the case. Uh, the, the warm and the cool has nothing to do with whether or not you lean more greenish, so more olive, or more reddish, so more of a redhead's complexion. So we're going to dive into that and we're going to talk about Christina Hendricks, who is a cool-toned redhead, and I'll show some examples of her. If you are completely new here and you're super confused, take a look around my channel. I have a ton of videos on color analysis and on body typing and essence and everything in between, so take a look around. And if you're still confused, then I do offer typings through my website and I will leave a link to those down below. Okay, let's get into it. So here is the first image of Christina, and I think she looks absolutely beautiful in this cool red or hot pink or fuchsia color. And what I'm seeing here is that she has a cool undertone lip color on. She has a cool undertone top, or I mean, it's a dress. Um, so everything she's wearing is pretty much cool toned. And I would say that I would even go so far as to say the gold looks slightly disconnected from her, her gold earrings and her gold... Um, accent on her dress but the thing is is that redheads the thing why the the reason why redheads are so easily confused to be warm sometimes, and some redheads certainly are warm and some redheads are cool. So I'm, all, I'm only talking about the cool redheads. And the reason why redheads are confused to be warm, even if they are cool, is because they look warm. So they look warm because they have those reddish tones to their skin and to their hair, and we associate the color red with looking warm. Just like the reason why, you know, some olive skin tones a lot of people who sort of just colloquially talk about olive skin tones, they think that they are warm, but then color analysts sort of swing the other direction and they say all olive skin tones are cool. Now, I don't think either of those things are true. I think both redheads and red toned complexions and green toned complexions could be cool or warm. Okay, but the gold does help to sort of make her look warmer because you would think that she's warm you feel like she could be warm because she is a redhead and so she is wearing the gold and for that reason you know it doesn't look too bad on her at all i would actually love to see her in some rose gold rose gold looks beautiful on redheads simply because it has that that peachy tone to it and that can sort of more like melt into their skin otherwise if you're a cool toned redhead like christina you could easily go for clear toned silvers so anything that is not a brushed silver but something that's very very much a shiny silver a clear silver for jewelry is going to work very well on you and now if we contrast that with her wearing a warm color i would much prefer to see her in this color she looks so much more fresh and vibrant and this color feels like it's heavy on her and it feels like it's she's kind of reaching now redheads again can do they can do peaches sometimes even if they're cool just because they have pinks to their skin if she were a an olive skin tone and she were cool this color here this like warm peach color would look even even worse on her basically but what i'm seeing is that it looks a little bit heavy on her and that's why i mean she is just so clearly cool to me it's it's not only that she's slightly cool or anything like that she's just cool through and through she is cool and radiant and wherever you see her you'll see that she's cool and radiant so so yeah i think she's a great example if you are a cool toned redhead to take a look at and you'll see in mad men she most of the time is dressed in cool colors and i love what they did with the costume design in mad men so anyway, so here it's a little bit more heavy on her, and that is an indication to us that she is cool. You know, she's com we, if we compare more of a cool-toned reddish color versus a warm-toned reddish color, I would say this looks a lot fresher on her. She looks a lot more vibrant, and the other test that you can do is 
in this, I am drawn more to her eyes. And then with this, my eye gets lost and it's always being pulled down to the shirt. So I'm having trouble focusing on her face because the color is distracting and it feels heavy. But with this, I'm really looking at her face because it all sort of blends together. You know, the, the color is the same undertone as her skin undertone, which is cool toned. And so that's why it looks just right on her. It looks pretty much perfect on her. So, okay, so here again, you know, she looks beautiful in this, in this color, you know, like a, a blue, basically, any sorts of blues are going to be beautiful on her. Royal blue will be beautiful, uh, you know, warm blue, electric blue, all kinds of blues will all be beautiful, bright teals will be beautiful, emerald green will be beautiful. What she really wants to be staying away from in any, any um, cool toned redhead wants to be staying away from probably warm grays. Uh, that's not going to do anything for you or tans um, especially like warm tans may not do that much for you and let's see here of course yellow you know yellow really may not work on you if you are a cool redhead and orange may not work for you either and of course the lime green may not really work for you although i have seen sometimes let's say like seafoam green or maybe a soft peach could work you know because because of the the reds to the skin you know the the green can work nicely with the red and the uh, the softer peach is not terribly peach and terribly warm so it's kind of like it can kind of work but a bright peach like this i think is just too much it's too heavy versus this being very fresh and vibrant so, so yeah, so, so the, the blue is really beautiful, so another indication that she is cool toned. And of course here she looks absolutely spectacular. I love this, this image of her and you know she's wearing a navy, at, like a very clear navy color. And uh, her lip color is extremely cool toned as well and it just looks perfect and flawless on her. Another indication to us that she is cool toned, of course. Now you may be wondering, if I am a redhead, isn't red hair technically warm? Like, what should I do? You know, should I dye my hair a cool auburn? Now, I would say that you shouldn't go incredibly cool toned. It depends on your body type. You know, it depends on your body type because some people are more flattered by hair colors that look artificial and other people are more flattered by more natural looking hair colors. And that can take precedence over the warm cool balance sometimes. And so what I would tell you if you're a redhead is if you want to go for a natural color, try to go, if you're a cool toned redhead, try to go as, as cool as you can while still having it look natural and vibrant. For example, like her hair color here, even though I would consider that to be like more of like a neutral hair color, like it's not terribly cool, um, I think it looks great on her. And if she were to go far cooler, like she could probably do even like a cool auburn or something like that, but it could start to look artificial because cool auburn isn't, if, if you go too cool, it's not really as commonly seen it as a natural hair color. So she is, by the way, she is sharp and soft. So the closest Kibi type to that is soft dramatic, if you are familiar with Kibi body types. And so soft dramatics don't really find themselves flattered by very artificial hair colors. They are flattered by vivid hair colors, um, but you don't want to go too artificial. So, so yeah, so I think this is a perfect hair color for her. Uh, this, I would say, is a little bit too warm. You can see how the difference, like here, I would say this is too warm of a red. And then here, I love this, you know, I think it's more effortless, more flawless. So here, you know, another example of her just looking excellent in a, a warm purple. You know, I would call that a warm purple, and I think that's beautiful. And the thing with redheads is, what I really love about cool-toned redheads is that they feel warm, right? Because they, they have like the reddish tones to them. But at the same time, if they have a cool skin undertone, they are cool. And so what I really enjoy seeing is I enjoy seeing cool toned redheads in these sort of like what I call warm, cool colors. So warm purples, even though purples are technically cool, like I would say all purples are cool toned and maybe that's a little bit controversial, but they're cool toned to me because they have more blue to them than 
than yellow. I mean, they don't have any yellow, so they lean blue. It's basically red plus blue. So anything that is sort of leaning toward blue is going to be cool toned. So all purples are cool toned. Um, but some purples, of course, are not as cool as others, and the ones that are not as cool as others, we call those warm purples. And another reason why they're called warm purples is because they look beautiful with warm undertones, you know, because they they have that that simultaneous contrast, they have that that contrast with the golden tones of a warm undertone. So that can look really beautiful. But in in truth, they don't look completely ideal you know, on a warm undertone. And the reason for that is because they're not really, a, it's not really a warm color. It's just that warm undertones can pull off all the colors. And so that's why warm undertones often find themselves wearing cool colors really, really beautifully. And I wouldn't not recommend that. Um, I would say that if you are a warm undertone, warm purple will be beautiful on you. Teal will be beautiful on you. Even though those colors do lean more blue, they work beautifully against your skin tone. Having said all of this, that's why they also work beautifully on a true cool and radiant lady like Christina Hendricks, even though they're called so-called warm purples, you see? And so it, it reads warm, but it's actually cool. Just like Christina, she reads warm, but she's actually cool. So I love to see her in warm purple. I love to see her in a warm blue, you know, electric blue, things like that and warm purple. I think those are just lovely, as well as a warm fuchsia like this. You know, a warm fuchsia would be, would be, is beautiful on her. I mean, you can see how beautiful that is. Now you would say to yourself, well, look, you know, you're saying warm blue, you're saying warm fuchsia, you're saying warm purple. Doesn't that just mean she's warm? She's not truly warm because when it comes down to it, if she tries fire engine red lipstick, if she tries gold jewelry that's even more like in this image you know that's not in incredibly yellow gold jewelry but you can imagine if that was a bright yellow gold jewelry how disconnected that would look from her cool skin undertone so she's not truly a warm undertone whatsoever i mean she's not even close okay so so yeah so here i would say she the thing with redheads is that since they have the reds to their skin like i touched on before they can look really pretty in either greens or reds, right? Um, so, so that's an option, you know, that's an option. She, I feel like this color looks a tiny bit, a tiny bit heavy on her. It's not my first option for her color, but it's a different color look if she wants to look more earthy. Um, I think if her body type was a different body type, then maybe I would put this color higher on the list for her as a recommendation. It certainly does not look bad. I don't think it looks bad. I just don't love it as much as I love this color on her or this color or this color or, the, or not this one or this color um, so so yeah so I think it doesn't look too bad because the thing with you know red reddish skin undertones or greenish skin undertones is that you can sort of play with greens and 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 peaches you know uh, in a way that other skin tones that are more closer to neutral on the red green balance can't necessarily do so so yeah so i think she does pull this off better she pulls off olive green better than someone who is or whatever you would call this color like the warm green she pulls it off a little bit better than someone who's simply cool and radiant but that doesn't mean it's one of her best colors uh, so yeah so i think pure black works pretty well on her of course you know she is not extremely high contrast so it does look a teeny tiny bit harsh on her but that's not because of her skin undertone it's just because her hair isn't dark enough and her features aren't dark enough to really carry that that pure black um let's see do i have another yeah so so i would say for her if she wants to do pure black i would really add like a statement eyeliner, not like the smoky kind of eye look that she's she's doing here. And, you know, I would really go for like a statement black eyeliner, like a winged liner. And I think that would tie the look together for a pure black, you know, wearing pure black. I think she can do it. It's just her eyebrows are a little bit too light here and her, her eyeliner is a little, her eye makeup is a little bit too soft for, to really pull the look together with the black. Um, but what I do love about this is that, you know, the lightweight fabric can lift the visual weight of the pure black. So, so if you feel like pure black looks too harsh on you, you can try to do it in lighter weight fabrics depending on your body type. And that can lift the visual weight and it 
makes it not look not as heavy. And so here you can see, you know, while we're on this photo, since I just brought it up, right? We're not even, I pulled it up and then I said, we're on this photo. So anyway, we're on this photo now and you can see her lip color is a little bit too heavy on her. It's for a few reasons. It's kind of, <sighs> okay, so it's cool lighting. Here's what I suspect. I suspect this is very cool lighting, but that the lip color is warm toned. Now, but that's not the main reason why it looks heavy on her. It's too dark on her. But the main reason it looks heavy on her is because it's matte and dark. And so she is sharp and soft, soft dramatic. That's not really going to work at all. So, um, so she really does so much better with these bright, fresh lip colors like this bright, fresh, and cool toned. You know, this also works, you know, something softer is okay, um, or this especially is just so vibrant, so fresh on her bright, cool toned lip colors. You know, again, more natural is also okay, but, and the warm, not so much, I, I wouldn't recommend that, but this is beautiful too. So yeah, but, but something like this, you know, it's, it's matte, and it's heavy looking, it's heavy looking, and, um, and so, and so that's why. And then I think that what adds to the heaviness of it is that it also is most likely a warm toned lip color because it could look, looks kind of neutral, whatever in, in the, in the photo, but I suspect it's warm toned because the photo is so cool that it makes it look cooler toned than it actually is. So that's a part of why it's coming across so heavy. Okay. So these are my color recommendations for Christina Hendricks, or if you're watching this, you are a cool toned redhead who also has a body type who looks great in bright colors. So we're talking about if you are a uh, kibby soft dramatic, if you are maybe soft natural, theatrical romantic, soft classic. Leave in the comments if I forgot any, but the, those four, oh, I mean soft gamine, of course, flamboyant gamine. Um, if you're any of those body types and you are a cool toned redhead, did I say theatrical romantic? I hope so, and romantic as well. But romantic, you also look good in softer colors too, like um, like pastels and stuff. But either way, you guys, all of you guys w w with these body types, and in general, you know, if you are a cool toned redhead, these colors are gonna look beautiful on you. So we have the warm purples, we have the warm blues, we have emerald green, pure black as an accent, um, depending on your body type. And then the warm fuchsia is one of my favorites too, like, like what she's wearing in this image. So, yeah, for your metals, you have your, your gold, your white gold or silver toned metals. And uh, I think, well, maybe I should talk about what you should avoid. Um, I would avoid warm grays. I would avoid, um, yeah, yellows and oranges. I think I've already said that. So I think I pretty much covered everything. So this is... Yeah, these are the color recommendations and uh, that's it so that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts in the comments are you a cool toned redhead i'd be curious to know your experience and of course if you are still confused about any of this then take a look around my channel and if you're still confused then you can check out the links below for my typings all right leave me a comment and i will talk to you next time okay bye